Hi, my name is Monica Blunder, makeup artist. Today I will show you a fresh take on the old Hollywood makeup. Instead of doing the boring black eyeliner with the red lips, I chose a beautiful dark forest green eyeliner with a flick in a bold, bright pink fuchsia lip color. This is such a fun look for spring. I've been wearing this makeup myself a lot lately and I will show you in this video step by step how I created this look. I will also give you some helpful tips how to create the flick. I hope you like this video and I see you next time. All right, I'm gonna start with this Laura Mercier uh, foundation primer and I always like to use a primer because it just is a nice base before the foundation and especially if you're going out or you have like a long day at work it's something nice to use because it just kind of holds your foundation in place also if you have bigger pores it's nice because it kind of just makes your pores appear smaller i chose this foundation today by giorgio armani it's luminizing number five and i'm using a sigma foundation brush in f80 this is like one of the most popular foundations I think out there and it's definitely a staple in my makeup kit and it's just a really nice medium medium coverage base foundation and it's sheer and I like when you can still see the skin kind of coming through and it's not too cakey and too heavy and this foundation kind of does the trick also don't forget to kind of Go down to your neck area. You never just want to stop right here. You always kind of want to bring your brush downwards so you get a seamless finish. And I also like to sometimes put foundation a little bit over the ears, especially if they're a little bit more red so everything kind of looks the same. Moving on to your eyebrows. They're awesome. They're so nicely groomed. So I'm going to just brush them right now with this little comb by Anastasia. And I'm just going to use this color by MAC. It's called Lingering. I'm just going to fill in. I don't want it too strong of a brow. Just kind of fill in the little areas where I feel like she needs a little bit more color. Especially here in the front. And then the high point is right here. So we'll bring it up to here and then fill in this area just a tiny bit. And I like it when you actually go once a month and have them professionally done versus doing them yourself. Then they're just done and you know that they're doing the right job and versus plugging them yourself and then you make mistakes and it takes forever for them to grow back in. All right, eyebrows are done. Next step, I'm really loving this cream eyeliner by YSL. I just found it the other day at Sephora and the color is called Bronze Black, but it actually is green when you open it. It's like this really beautiful dark green and I think it's a great color for during the day. It's not as harsh as a black eyeliner and it's different and I think it's a great color for spring. I like to do a flick on you today and you can even take a cream pencil it's the same color than your skin look at me and it's really important when you do the flick that you look straight into the mirror and you kind of just follow this line on the bottom upwards and that's kind of like how you want your flick to look like and then I mean there's different ways you can make it really bold and thick or more natural it depends on how you personally want to wear it I'm going to do it a little bit more bold today but this is kind of where I want the flick to end so you can even mark it with your little pencil so now I'm starting with the cream eyeliner and I'm starting in the inner corner so look this way I like starting more towards the thinner side because you can always make it thicker cream liner sometimes is a little bit harder to do than a regular eyeliner or a coal eyeliner because once you apply it it's a little bit harder to correct try to go as close as you can to the lash line so now look at me straight 
this is the hard part for everybody. So we kind of, I, can, I, mean, I don't know if the camera picks up, but I can see a little bit of the flesh color we applied. So you kind of just follow that. And then close. And then I bring it from the outer corner back inwards. And then it's good if you always have a Q-tip handy. Look at me straight and you can just follow that and kind of just clean it up if you feel like it's not straight enough. That's beautiful, this color on you. Especially with your brown eyes, it kind of just, you know, even picks up the color even more. And this is about how thick I want your liner to be. Again, you can make it thinner, thicker, whatever your heart desires. Perfect. Then we're going to curl your lashes. I think every woman should always curl her lashes just to get that nice lift in your eyes. It's perfect. Then we're going to use the Falsies Volume Express by Maybelline. I just discovered this mascara and I love it. I go really close to the root of your lashes. It has a great brush and it gives you tons of lashes. You can do two coats, make it a little bit more intense. And for the bottom lashes, and I'm using this Clinique mascara. I really like it, it has this tiny little brush on it. And it's perfect for the bottom lashes. Then we'll comb out your lashes with a little comb so they don't look clumpy. Put a little bit of concealer underneath your eyes and I'm using Clinique Airbrush Concealer in 04. Just to kind of highlight this area a little bit and make it a little bit more lighter and brighter. You can even use your hands for that. And to make this little wing here even sharper you can even go with a little concealer brush and concealer on it and kind of just go underneath that line and it'll make it appear even sharper. I'm just gonna use a little bit of powder on you in your T-zone area and for that I'm using Laura Mercier pressed powder in translucent and I'm just doing it a tiny little bit right in this nose area here and forehead. a little bit underneath her eyes and then I'm going to use some bronzer by Urban Decay in Baked and I'm applying this with a fluffy brush just kind of like apply it where you think the sun would naturally hit your face so I like to do it right on the cheek area in the temples right here in the forehead even a little bit on the nose and right here. It's a great universal bronzer for everybody. Next step, I'm going to use a little bit of a lip balm by Dr. Hauschke. It's lip care stick. And I like using lip balm always before I apply any lip products. Just everything goes on smoother and I don't like when you put lipstick on dry lips, it just doesn't look right should always be moisturized. And I chose this really pretty bright pink for you today by Tom Ford in Flamingo 08. And I'm applying this directly out of the tube. And then you can even use your hands, depending on how strong you want the lip color to come across. You can either pat it in with your finger and make it more natural or if you want it more vibrant, you just go ahead and apply it a few more times or even with a lip brush. Open up. Just go right in those corners. So I'm also going to use a little bit of a lip pencil. And I chose this color by Chanel in 49. I feel like she needs a little bit of a lip pencil so the color just doesn't bleed out too much. 
And so this helps prevent it from bleeding out and going into her foundation, her skin area. And it just puts the lipstick in place. And then you can even go over it again with your lip brush and kind of just smoothen those edges with the lip liner and make it all one color and seamless. Voila, this is the finished look, so easy. Just a few products, great spring and summer look during the day or during the night, really beautiful.